man, I got to tell you something. So I just, I've been listening on repeat to the, I know you have a, there's more, there's more songs that you released, but this one right. song in particular, I can't get enough of, um, God gave me horses. Thank you. The, the, the tide sessions, right? So it's called the tide, this album you released in August, right? Or September? Uh, September. Yes. September. Okay. Um, that song, oh man! Wow, that's a, that is a, that line. Um, the state gave me eighteen months. God gave me horses. I gotta say, I mean, I wrote that down. That's probably one of the best lines I've heard in a song. And I, I don't know when. I, I can't. I, I can't straight t- from the above. I, it's it really- such a good line. I mean, Thanks. it's so well delivered. It's such a beautiful song. And that tied session, this like unplugged, like. Oh man, so good, Lee. Thank really. you. Thank you so much. I'm really proud of it and uh everything that I've been able to achieve with this company um has really been just such a a corner that I didn't I wasn't expecting. I thought I was just going to be here all year and I have been, but I've been able to work, you know, from home and and record songs that are so important to me. Um and and just like build something, even though it's a year of my son's graduating, instead of sitting around, like sort of hearing the ticking of the clock, I can be busy and creative. And that's something I'm really, really grateful for. Yeah, that's awesome. I Is mean, it- this, this, um, you hadn't put out music for like six years or so, right? Well, before that. According to Wikipedia. So, I, you no, know, no, I don't know right. how right that is all the time. There may have been a few singles, but yeah, no, yeah you're right. No, not a, like a, a record. And I know this is just a half a record, but the next half is going to be pretty, pretty stunning, I must say. Yeah, but and this I, first, if this is just a, you know, half of a, re- it's amazing. I mean, okay. it's like, wouldn't that be better than a full record of nonsense? Yes. I think, right? Yes. Quality. Yes. Yes, but there will well, be volume another two. volume yeah. two. So let's talk about who the collaborators are that you brought on for this first first one here that that's out right now that people can listen to. Okay, who did you, who did you I've bring got, on? I've uh, got Cece Winans, who it's is just just I mean, uh, one of my favorite people and voices in the world, and Ruby Amanfu, who I really love as well. My husband Stephen Wilson Jr. Uh, on a song we wrote together called made for this about (laughs) we were about to kill each other and we sat down and wrote a song instead, which was a better choice. It's a better, better, better choice. Better choice. (laughs) Um, and then, um, Vince Gill, Holy cow. And wow. Tanya Tucker was a highlight. (laughs) Wow. Um, trying to think who am I, who am I missing? Uh, uh, Am I missing anything? I don't. I don't think so. I think so. that was it. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Yeah. That's but amazing. It's, so it's, each song okay. is like you're paired with somebody. Is that the idea? Well, we we you know we factored in. All right, this is the song we've got. Like who would, who would be a good match? And so for never again, every time, Tanya Tucker was like the perfect um, archetype. You know, yeah. like there isn't, yeah. she is the archetype. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> totally. uh, having her was absolutely perfect. And I can't think of anyone more gentle spirited and obviously gifted uh, than Vince Gill to join me on God gave me horses. Um, because that song um, came from an experience where I, I met a prisoner. I don't know if we talked about this last time, but I, I don't think so. I, I'm, I went to an agricultural center with my best friend and we were um, looking at the horses and she brought her dog and it's something that she makes a habit of because she lives right down the street. And she kind of made me go that morning and I was like, Ugh, I really don't want to. And I went with her and we're looking at these beautiful animals. And I remember it was cold because this man came out of the barn and he was wearing a, a jacket so we couldn't instantly tell that he was wearing a uniform like a prison uniform and um and so he he just came out of the barn and started talking to us and telling us about his life and why he was incarcerated um 
And the fact that, you know, he, when he's, I guess, on good behavior, the, the cops there would let him come and work with the horses and how it was, it had healed him. I mean, he said a lot of the lines that are in the song, I mean, really most of them. Wow. Um, but by the time I got to the car that morning, I had the state gave me 18 months. God gave me horses because you could see it all over his face. I mean, oh. and he said, he talked about his dad. He talked yeah. about the hardest part, you know, was, was just missing his wife. And, um, you know, so his vulnerability led to this, this song, you know, that's touching a lot of people. And, um, unfortunately he hasn't been able to hear it, uh, that I know of yet. So, Oh, really? Yeah. We, we gave copies to all of the police people that work there. Um, yeah. and they were very appreciative and they love the song. Um, love it. But, um, but they said that, that, um, this man, um, his name is Dwayne, um, can hear it when he's ready to hear it. And I was like, well, it seems like any time is ret is like the right time for something like this, but maybe that'll yeah. inspire him to, you know, uh, right. Uh. But I'm thinking he may have re like reoffended or something, but sure. they won't, I can't, I haven't been able to get much information, but, but there there's, I do have in my mind, Dwayne being like really, really tall, dark haired. There's something about Vince Gill and his beautiful vulnerability and this guy Dwayne um and his vulnerability that I don't know it just made it made so much sense and then when Vince said yes and that's what it was it was just a series of yeses that I couldn't believe and wow. it made for this project that I just yeah I, I'm so proud of it that's uh, that's amazing that's amazing so when is the volume two coming out or is that public or you're not allowed to talk about that I don't know no I I think I could just guess um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your guess is the best one so I've, you know. reco I've recorded once one song already and then two will get done lord willing next week and then i've got a little bit more writing to do um but uh i believe what have they said i think end of summer it might be the same thing like a year later Okay. So, okay. Right on. Yeah. That's September, good. September, August, September. But I'm, yeah. um, yeah, I couldn't be more excited about what's coming. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I hey, wish I could talk about that. You said you have a little more writing. Is it all the songs are done and you're tweaking or you still have full songs to? I probably, I mean, I, I have a lot of songs in my head that I just gotta, I gotta get out um, yeah. anyway, just for my sanity whether they're good enough to go on this project. I don't, I don't know yet, but, um, but yeah, there's just so much housework to be done. <laughs> Is that it? That's what's holding I live it up. With two dudes. And I know a lot of people do, you know, you guys, you're, you're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> some of, some, <laughs> some of you are just, you know, We're everywhere. I can't yeah. believe well, the things that I see in this house every day. And, and I look at my, it's, you know, and, and Henry's 18 now. He doesn't have an excuse. I mean, I guess he could say his mom didn't teach him, but that's not true. <laughs> so I just got to, I got to square away. I really have to prioritize my time, um, which I'm not really great about that. But yeah, I've got some writing to do.